All right, tell us about your characters. I'm Sonia Gomez. I play Oran, um, head of the Royal Guard. I work very closely with the family. I'm Pierce. And I'm badass. She wears a lot of black leather. I wear a lot of black leather. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much me. <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> Energy done. Uh, my name's Mike Moe. I play Triton in the show. I can live underwater. I can breathe underwater. I am a sneaky guy. We're in humans. So Black Bolt trusts me with all the incognito missions, and he'll send me on things that other family members won't necessarily know about. So um, I'm very fiercely loyal to my king, especially, and also my family. I think the royal family, you know, for me, as much as I'm loyal to Black Bolt, we're all trying to figure out what is best for the inhuman race, not just ourselves, not just whatever. So under, I think that's going to be the the thing that drives season one is everybody figuring out, learning about themselves with the decisions that uh, Maximus and Black Bolt are, are kind of testing about. Yeah, I think we're dropping in at a really crucial moment in their political like going going on um, the the impending danger of what if the human scientists are what are we gonna do? And I almost see Medusa and Black Bolt as kind of a young king and queen and it's kinda of like maybe like their first really big I don't wanna say war, but big moment in their reign as king and queen and it's affecting everybody. I think the show's gonna have all the citizens of Adam. I think the show will hit home because with the political climate right now, with all the things going on, it's, uh, oh, you guys don't know. Yeah, okay, you guys should check Twitter. Comic Con time's over. Yeah, yeah. There is nothing else to do. I think people will kind of, you know, you know like A1's hey, kind of said it, he's not really a villain. It's just kind of like, what side do you lie on? And you've got to kind of, we're this, we're this genetically superior race moving to a place, will they accept us? And there's a lot of uh, parallels that can be drawn with what's going on in the world today. Now, Mike, you talked yesterday at the panel about, you know, your experience with Taekwondo, but the fact that you're a five-time world champion. Uh, were there any instances where you really got to use those skills, or where the directors were just kind of like, you know, Mike Moore, what's the dude, Mike Moore right now? Um, I'll let you guys find out. I don't want to give any strips, uh, spoilers, but I'm, I'm grateful that I'm on the show. Um, when I found out that the character was Triton, I was actually hoping that it'd be Karnak, because Karnak's martial artist. But then I said, uh, then I found out Ken got the part. I was like, no, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> he, he can have it. He's the man. So... Triton is, um, he can, he's, he's got superhuman strength from being able to withstand the pressures of the ocean, so he's got extra speed, agility, and um, yeah, I definitely got to use the focus and the skill that I've gained as a martial artist, but I'm very grateful that you know, I was able to land the role with just the acting ability as well. I, I didn't grow up really doing comics, but I was like a big collector of X-Men cards. You guys remember that? Was like, that was like, that's like how I got my introduction to a lot of the, the Marvel characters. And uh, I played video games all the time, so now being able to like, I'm the character now. You know, where so I'm so glad that I got to uh, utilize both my acting and action skills and just be a, be a geek. geek. I don't want to say that. Neat. <laughs> yeah. I'm all of that. <laughs> and I like the theme of like, yeah, you might be a superhero, but you might still have issues. Or you might still gotta put your pants on. Yeah, you might, some characters might need to grow up or learn how to not be too arrogant. And you're not perfect. You may be super, but you're not perfect. Yeah, I did three hours of makeup at least. Every time I was on set, um, I don't have to do any of the work. I guess I was told I'm pretty good in the chair because I don't mouth off and I don't fall asleep. But you know, sometimes I'm up at one or two in the morning in the chair, and uh, it's um, you know, it's a good thing that our makeup team is great. And, yeah, it's people, like I said at the panel, people don't know who I am. Like, you know, <laughs> it looks so different in aesthetics. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of stories that I'll tell after the show comes out. <laughs> I, want, I want to talk to you guys more after, too. Yeah. We'll be right here, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs>
but we don't know that. We don't know this time. Yeah. 